what's up guys i never did this before so i'm gonna you know do it today sorry i'm gonna do a video today on it but um i'm not gonna make this video too long this is uh 9 11 um i, I you know i remember exactly where i was when that had when 9 11 happened god rest everybody's souls that passed away um on that date um, when it happened, I was in school. I believe I was actually in my freshman year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe my, yeah, I think it was my freshman year. Um, I was in like a, some, it wasn't like a computer class. It was some kind of, I don't, I don't, I don't even remember, some kind of, I don't know if it was a tech class or it was like a business something class in high school or whatever. I remember. And, um, I just, I remember my teacher, I don't even remember his name, a little white, like short, small, skinny white guy. He was real, he was cool, not real cool, but he was cool. And I just remember him just having the radio on. I don't know why he had the radio on at that time uh, of the class, but I just remember him having the radio on. And I remember him, the, the, the radio and him saying, oh my God, the plane hit the tower. Now, mind you, I'm a kid, poor, poor kid. You know, I come from, you know, the hood. I've rarely ever been out of my neighborhood, you know, where I lived at. So I'm not, you know, I don't really know about New York. That's why I know, the only thing I knew about the, at, at the time about New York was going over to New York that we get like basketball jerseys and stuff like that. You know, going to Times Square, WWE, New York, stuff like that. You know, that's all I really knew. Um, but... I, I didn't really grasp what was happening at the time, you know, and I just remember throughout the whole day, just people crying, teachers and students and everybody just crying. I was, I knew what was going on because I was old enough to understand, you know, at the age I was, and I knew it was a sad event. I, you know, I was worried too, because everybody else is worried that it might come, you know, it's something might be going on coming to our neighborhood because like pretty much we had already knew once the second plane hit we knew that it was uh a terrorist a terrorist a terroristic attack um sorry if i said terroristic wrong but it was a terrorist attack and we already we had already knew so we all you know we all like kind of grasp it but i know a lot of kids from my school had parents that worked in New York, you know, uh, and I know people had uh, family who worked in the towers, so everybody was panicking and everything, and everybody's going crazy, and it was just a, a, a scene that was like, you know, and they ended up, I believe they ended up letting everybody go home early that day, you know, um, I don't, I don't remember that part, but I do think we went home early that day because of what happened, um, and it was just, I remember just, you, you, I mean, you couldn't, there was nothing on TV at the time. Like you get home, you home, you were home. Nothing on TV. I mean, there were so many theories. Nobody knew what was really going on. I remember they said the plane that hit the Pentagon and all that stuff. It was bananas. Like it was so crazy, and you didn't realize the severity of it until you really started to get more information about what happened. And I was like, like some of the stuff that really, especially now that I'm older and I have kids of my own, something that really bothers me is that i mean as kids we don't take nothing serious but there was like we i mean we went a month or two with people calling bomb threats into the school you know and we was getting dismissed early almost every day we were getting we had bomb drills you know we had never as far as i remember we had never had bomb drills before in school so it was crazy to have all that stuff happening you know all that stuff happening and my small town you know you know, even though where where I, I grew up at, oh shoot, where I grew up at was, you know, the hood. I grew up in all hoods. You know, I never really lived in nice areas, so I I was used to the bad stuff. But just now, just like hindsight, just listening to people just, you know, do stuff like malicious stuff like that, where just do malicious stuff like that, where they, you know, they're calling in bomb threats and stuff like that, but. I just remember it was a it was a bad time. It was not fun, not good. Uh, it was very sad. Um, you know, all those lives lost. You know, especially as you got the story when you watch the documentaries when you see 
what really transpired with a lot of this stuff, you just think to yourself, like, wow, you know, um, you know, you, you, unfortunately, that could be any of us. You know, we all think that we're invincible. I know a lot of tragedies happen, it's more widespread, but this is before social media was even a thing. Like, social media wasn't really big then. I don't even, MySpace wasn't around. I think, you know, we, we had like AOL and stuff like that, but we didn't have, so there was like no, no social media. Like, now anything that happens is, you know, you get it on social media. But it's crazy because we didn't have none of that back in the day. So it was just, you know, you just pretty much newspapers and, you know, whatever news outlets was on the TV, your Fox News, your ABC, all that stuff. And it was just, it, it, it was sad. It was a sad time. But just remember that day. Just remember what happened. It was a scary time I mean, for months. And it wasn't like, you know, it was scary for a few days and then up, oh, it's done. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was scary for months. Like, you know, I know now. I know now we have a lot going on and a lot of stuff, school shootings, all that. But, you know, that was a moment in time where every, I mean, like, every day you feared that it was coming to your neighbor, your neck of the woods in your neighborhood. You know, it, it was it was not fun. It was, it was very sad. But I say that, you know, I just want to make this because... You know, it's it, it's a it's a day that we remember. A lot of you know, some people remember it, and they don't they don't know it. Like especially like younger kids weren't running around for it. They were young, you know. They don't understand. They weren't you know, when you're old, a little bit older, and you were around for that for that. You know, like certain things that happened before me, like Kennedy and things like that. I don't. I wasn't or the uh, or the uh, the uh, spaceship. You know, uh, uh, that that blew up. You know, I wasn't around for things like that so you know I, the severity is 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 lost on me because I, I know it's tragic but I wasn't there but this is something that I was front and center for you know not literally front and center um, God you know God bless that I wasn't there but I was like there dealing with it I had my own moments in time with things that happened and, and stuff that you know was, was bad but I, I you know y'all gotta be safe out there listen it's you know these things unfortunately they they not one time um incidents they happen a little too often and they can still happen so everybody has to be vigilant you know everybody has to respect so as much as we hate tsa we have to respect how airports have buckled down and you know a lot we hate it you know we say oh well why can't i bring it but listen they're trying to protect us because like that was a bad situation those people thought they were going to come home that day you know, everybody in those office buildings thought they were going to come home that day. The firefighters and the police um, people, you know, all the, the EMS uh, workers, the EMT and all that, they thought they were going to go home. Some of those people didn't even go home that, that day. So just remember when you, you know, when you're out and you're about and something is put in place to protect you, just embrace it because it, it might seem unfair, seem sad, seem bad. But guess what? It's probably for your own good. But anyway, everybody stay safe out there. I just wanted to, re you know, recall my my 9-11 uh, moment uh, I, I, every day. I, I, you know, I actually go to the, take my wife to the memorial, the memorial in West Orange where you can see the um, the memorial with everybody's name names on it. And you can see the uh, where the towers are. It's, it's a beautiful site. You know, it's a sad site, but it's a beautiful site because especially for the fact that they built, did put them back put them put the towers back up they built them stronger everything so just be safe out there guys and you know don't ever take your life for granted